Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play King's Quest VI, Air Today, Gone Tomorrow. It is I, the Minotaur Slayer. <laughs> Alright, hey, where's our interface up here? What's going on? There it is. Oh. Alexander pulls out his magic map. Head back to the Isle of Wonder and see if there's anything there we can do now. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Wow. Alright. So we've got our next objective. We need to figure out a way to somehow get to that misty island with the druids, but we have no idea even how to get near doing that. I still think there's got to be something with this worm. Go knock on his door again. Oh, excuse me. What do you think you're doing? I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize these books had an owner. Hmm. I'm in need of a rare book. Oh, okay, so I guess you have to talk to the librarian no dude owner. first. All books have owners, my good man. And this book owner, bookworm to you, wouldn't part with one of his books for anything. Isn't there something I can do for you to pay for the book? Of course there is. Hmm, let's see. Do you have an itinerant clause? Eh? No. No clauses at all, I'm afraid. As an exception, you always should! <laughs> Cute. Don't mind Oxymoron and Diphthong. They're <laughs> fairly limited grammatical principles, you know. Cute. Hmm, let's see. A marsh pig that does Texas? Uh, no. I'm afraid not. A dangling participle? I'm fresh out. A purple fiddle whacker? Oh, I, I do have a purple no, fiddle whacker. I don't think so. Sorry. An idiosyncrasy, perhaps? Right not. Huh, then what good are you? I've been wondering that for a while now. Can we give him our word? That's probably what we have to do now. That won't complete the sentence. I wasn't trying to complete it, I just... Alexander is... Gimme. Here. There's no reason to use that object there. Yeah, I want to give it to the wormy. Are you there, most venerable bookworm? Do you have anything interesting yet? Yes, we do. A regular abnormality? Uh, let me see what I have. Give you this. I have a sentence. Would that do? An incomplete one, I suppose. <laughs> Why, actually, it is incomplete. Just as I suspected, incomplete sentences are a dime a dozen, where you can literally just find them floating about. Complete sentences. Ooh, now there's something that's hard to come by these days. Can't we just write it on a piece of paper and give it to you? Sorry. Uh, what is the thing we got? We got this book. Mr. Worm. Alexander is greeted with silence. Are you there, most venerable bookworm? Do you have anything interesting yet? I got a book. A split infinitive. Uh. Let me see what I have. Would you take this in exchange for a rare book? You want to trade that? 
There are millions of those lying about. No, thank you. Huh. So much for that. Let's see. Alexander pulls out his magic map. It's a turn. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Friggin' yawn. There we go. Anything in town? Oh, that lamp vendor isn't there. Here was the other thing we could. Oh, you again. Good day, Prince Alexander. Yeah, it's probably is. We have to give him the mint then because this guy wants it. Right? Would you be interested in making a trade for this merchant? I think not. I do not have much call for that item these days. But you... What about you? Alexander decides to offer the old man some peppermint leaves. Can I offer you some peppermint, sir? Was there a point to that, or did I just get... Uh, I don't know. I want to reload. It didn't make that little ding ding noise. Alexander pulls out his magic map. Let's go to the Isle Alexander of Wonder Alexander feels again. a strange pulling sensation. Here's that Isle of the Mists. I wonder if I can even go there now. I didn't spot it there last time. I don't know if I was looking for it. It's head up here. I still think there needs to be something with those baby tears, too. Why is that there? There's a small bottle on the coffee table. It bears a label that reads, Drink me. I think we're on 26 actually now.